The Federal Reserve this week did not channel their inner Bonnie rate when Chairman Jerome Powell described the board's conversation this week as talking about talking about reducing the bond buying program. The program designed to prop up a pandemic beleaguered economy, which is about as light footed as the Fed can get when trying to avoid spooking markets, but yet saying the stimulus ride will end someday, just not today. In his comments, Powell relatively dismissed current inflationary conditions as pandemic related, but did project through dot plot, which you should take with a very large grain of salt projections, two rate hikes up from the current level of 0% in 2023. This is consistent with the Fed's recent stance. But if inflation persists, you can expect those rate increase announcements to come sooner. We'll be keeping a close eye on mortgage and high yield savings rates as canaries in coal mines of things to come. Now, two interesting market related notes. First has been the resurgence of oil stocks and overall U.S. energy. The share prices of ConocoPhillips and Synovus Energy have tracked with resurging oil prices which most of us have felt at the gas pumps these past few months. And while that has hit our wallets and our portfolios, we are overweight US energy and have seen some nice gains there. Lastly is a throwback where old becomes new and out of favor becomes profitable again. Kind of like the clothing brand company Champion. I had no idea that's what kids were wearing these days. GM and Ford have seen their share prices uh, increase over 40% year to date beating the likes of Tesla, Nikola, Lordstown Motors, and other EV stocks, which goes to show that a diversified portfolio, including value companies such as GM and Ford, is still prudent and wise investing. For Cope Corrales, I'm Joe Cope.